Season's greetings from Tradex Foods. Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, a Monday morning pulse report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts to start this week's insight. Just a quick note, this week I heard from a reliable source in China that two processing plants in China have issued, been issued letters of warning from the Canadian government regarding short net weights. Processing companies such as Tradex Foods have begun looking for secondary processing in Asia and Vietnam seems to be the country of choice. Stay tuned for more on this. In the news this week, the International Pacific Halibut Commission is recommending that the 2011 halibut quota drop by 19%. The largest reductions are recommended for the fisheries in the southeast Alaska, while increases have been proposed for fisheries off the coast of Oregon and Washington. Halibut quotas have been trimmed down the last five consecutive years. We believe a further supply cut in 2011 will have a considerable impact on the market. Halibut prices are currently the highest they've been in more than 10 years, with prices for dress fish wholesaling at about $7 in Seattle. We have heard the talk of reduced quotas already has buyers bidding up prices. As we all know, halibut is a very popular fish in food service and not one that is easy for restaurants to remove from menus. The final decision on the quota is scheduled for January. In other news, Christmas salmon sales are just around the corner and prices of Norwegian farm salmon are rising. Prices have increased 82 cents in the last two weeks and are now sitting at approximately $6.50 for most sizes. Part of this increase can be attributed to a lack of supply in other regions of the world. Chilean supply of farm salmon to the U.S. market fell by 70% in terms of volume a gap that was partially filled by Norwegian frozen fillets, effectively pulling supply from away from the European markets. The European processing industry is operating full tilt in anticipation of Christmas sales. However, exporters are beginning to worry that high prices won't be tolerated by purchasers for much longer. Stand by for more on this, these topics in future episodes. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.